Howdy howdy everyone. Today, I will show you how to create a vivid glow sunset flare in Photoshop. Subscribe, turn on the post notifications and let's get started. Open a new document and set foreground color to black. The default is always set to black, but if yours is messed up just press the D key to restore it. I'm sampling the color from the swatch panel. As you can see the hex code which is unique and represent that specific color. The moment you click on the swatch it automatically change the foreground to that color as you can see. You can confirm it by clicking on the foreground for it to open this window and then make reference to the one in the swatches panel to see if the hex codes are the same. Go to the layers panel and click on that sign to create a transparent layer. Head onto the tools panels and select the brush tool. Set the opacity and the flow to 100%. Open the brush settings and make sure hardness is set to 0%. Now move to the canvas. Hold the Alt key while you drag your mice horizontally to the right hand side to make the brush size bigger. Dab on the canvas. Make sure you click just once. I undo the action with Ctrl plus C. Assuming you mistakenly dub at the side of the canvas. You will get something like this. Do you know why? It's because anything that exceeds the size of the canvas must be cropped or cut out. You wouldn't want that to happen so make sure the brush is centered before you dub or click. Press Ctrl plus T and hold down the Shift plus Alt and make it a little bigger. Always hold Shift plus Alt key to resize a thing proportionally. Confirm it, add a transparent layer and change the color. Make a click like so. Press Ctrl plus T, hold Shift plus Alt and resize it. Select the second layer by holding Ctrl. Change the blend mode to linear dodge. Create a transparent layer again. Navigate to the canvas and right-click to open brush settings. Set the hardness to 100%. Click on that curved arrow to swap the foreground color to white or pressing the X key to do so. Reduce the brush size and dub just like this. Click on the Move tool to release the brush. Click and drag over the canvas to select all the layers. Click on the alignment sign to center all the layers. Select that layer. Drag it onto that icon to create a copy. You can use the shortcut Ctrl plus J. As you can see it look more realistic and vivid than it was. Press Ctrl plus T, nudge down the size a little and confirm it. Select the final layer. Hold Shift to select all. Right click and merge all. Now you can move the flare around without any distraction. You can also scale it down or enlarge it. If you want to save it with a transparent background, right click on the layer and choose Quick Export as PNG or Export as. The file will be saved automatically to your desktop. If you are wondering, this is how I created the flare in the previous Church Flyer design tutorial. I hope this helps, if it did remember to subscribe, leave a like and also turn on post notifications.